It's Rick Candy from Epic Gaming Night, and this is Favorite Game Friday, where we have a group of contributors with completely different tastes in gaming talking about their favorite game in the category of the week. Last week, we talked all about underrated games, so let's take a look at a few of the comments about that. Corey says that Dragon's Gold is definitely an underrated game, and he hasn't seen any other negotiation games that feel quite like it. I love Dragon's Gold, and that you're trying to get the different gems off the dragons and talk about, like, how to get the different things. It's really fun negotiation game trying to figure out how to split up the loot. Lots of fun. The Dangerous Saint says Redemption CCG is a definitely an underrated game that's almost as old as Magic the Gathering. I definitely have a huge history with Redemption and it's crazy like every time I tell people like, oh man, I used to play this game, tons of tournaments, played all sorts of stuff, I just get blank stares and they have no clue what I'm talking about. But Redemption was a great game back in the day. Mage says that they're with Ambi and Tragedy Looper is definitely an underrated game and she helped get them into the game. That's why we love doing board game media, whether it be Favorite Game Friday or our podcasts and things like that. It's cool to be able to share games that we love with you guys and help you guys find awesome games as well. Make sure to leave in the comments down below for this week and you might be in next week's episode. This week is all about games that give you nostalgia, that make you remember the past or like good things that happened or just a game that reminds you of another game or is an older game that you played again and you just really love. So leave in the comments down below what your favorite game that gives you nostalgia is and let's get to the contributors clips. A game that's very nostalgic to me is Backgammon. Ants in your pants. Oh! Magic the Gathering. Dominion brings back memories of college. The game that gives me the biggest misery, I mean, nostalgia hit? Agricola. A game that brings me great memory is when I pull out my 1996 copy of Zittler von Katan, or Settlers. The game that gives me nostalgia has to be Carcassonne, one of the first hobby games I ever played. I have a lot of fond memories of spending hours playing Stratego over and over again. I played tons of Zelda as a kid, so Tiny Epic Quest definitely reminds me of that and makes me feel nostalgic. One of the games that brings me nostalgia is the first game I talked about on my YouTube channel, and that's One Night Ultimate Werewolf. Oh. Shake them up. It's Boggle. Hey, PBA Baseball, that gives me nostalgia. <laughs> Hotel. One of my favorite games growing up was Careers, so I'd say that. There's been better games, but I have fond memories of this one. Games that make you feel nostalgic are always super interesting. It seems like these days they're always bringing games out that seem like a blast from the past. It's like, oh man, I remember that, that like 70s vibe or like 90s vibe, bright neon colors, or maybe it's based on a video game you loved, or just based on an older game that like has come back and you're like, oh man, I remember this, this was great. Leave in the comments down below what game gives you the most nostalgia. And also make sure to check out all of our contributors on Instagram. We're posting things we're excited about in tabletop games. Gaming. Thanks so much for joining us on Favorite Game Friday, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.